Hey soul family, what's up? What's going on? This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Isa. I am your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader and I'm doing the darn thing today for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. This is going to be your general love reading for the week. So please take what resonates for you, leave what doesn't. If nothing resonates at all in your sun sign, Gemini, definitely check your other uh, placements. And if those don't resonate, feel free to check out my older readings. Okay. Um, down in the description box is where you can uh, follow me on other social media platforms. It's also where you can make a love donation to my channel and you can find a lot of the cards that I'm using in the readings. Okay. And last but not least, guys, I'm currently not doing any personals. If and when I do open it up, excuse me, I will definitely let you know. All right. Uh, so please, in the meantime, don't believe people who say they're me or they're trying to scam you or send you WhatsApp numbers. Okay. Don't fall for it. <laughs> don't fall for it. All right. And, um, last last but not least please don't forget if any of this does resonate show your girls some love by smashing the love button don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already by um, hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell on the top that will make sure i am in your feed even if you don't get a pop-up that i've posted any videos okay and uh, definitely comment down below. I love talking to you guys. Um, it's always a good time. I, <laughs> I like just, uh, you know, part of my reason for doing this is creating a space where people can feel okay talking about their stuff and not like something's wrong with them. And you know what I mean? Like we can create a space of community. Okay. So let's get going, Gemini. 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 All right overall energy of the reading why are we all here today on this lovely saturday morning i'm thinking of going live guys that's why i have my ipad over here i'm like i never go live and i'm like um you know i'm considering it right now all right so let's see what's going on with gemini what's the overall energy here please six of wands feeling really good um a lot of recognition here um, maybe getting a lot of attention, Gemini. Okay, talk to me about the connection, the love connection that Gemini's in, please, or love. Talk about the connection. Talk about the connection, please, in and around Gemini with love, King of Cups. Okay, you might be in love. Okay, someone might be seeing you for who you really are, Gemini. I love this. Okay, you might have a love interest or you're in love. Let's talk about your person and how this person feels about you, Gemini, whoever you're connecting with. There's a lot of love in this connection. Okay. How does this person feel about Gemini? The lovers. Wow. Okay. Really, really nice. That's Gemini energy. All right. So this person really in love with you, regardless of what they, you know, what other people think, how you look, anything like that, what you even think about yourself. Okay. There's a real... Um, there's a real, like, you guys feel the same. Okay. I'm feeling like you guys feel the same. This person treats you like a king or a princess. You know what I'm saying? This six of wands riding on the horse. They really put you, they really see you as somebody who has a lot of very high value. Um, and, uh, they see you as very successful. You know, a lot of people want you and stuff like that. That's very attractive to this person. Okay. What's their hidden energy? What are they hiding? What's, what is going on with this person that they may not be sharing with Gemini? Seven of wands, this person, either they, maybe they feel like I almost feel like they're they're in competition a little bit. They might feel like there's a lot of people that demand or want your attention with the seven of wands, okay? This person really loves you. They're, they'd be willing to go to the ends of the earth for this connection is what I feel like. Um, and they might feel like... Uh, like I said, I feel some sort of like competitive nature with this person. They might be a little bit jealous or something. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or another Gemini. What's the challenge in this connection, please? What's the challenge in this connection? 
Five of Cups, there's something from the past that this person might be hanging on to here. If you look at this Five of Cups, you see that somebody is like reaching out to them. They feel bad about something. We'll see if we can get to the bottom of what this is. There might be something that they did in the past or some emotional sort of uh, connection they might be hanging on to, okay? What's the potential outcome, please? What's the potential outcome? Okay, I like it. And what's the advice, please? What's the advice here for Gemini? Eight of Cups, Three of Coins. Something's going on here. Nine of Swords. What is this person? Huh. I feel like there's something here in this person's past energy that's doing something with the connection. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Because I feel like this person is like, uh, are they protecting you from knowing something? I feel like they're trying to protect you, maybe some of you from knowing something. Let's see. Let's clarify. Okay. Why is the six of wands here? I feel like there's something that they did in the past that they don't want you to know about. And they're like trying to protect that because this person is so into you. Why is the six of wands here? Yep. Ten of cups. Holy crap. Yeah. This person is like, oh shit. Gemini is my everything, you know, hangman. Um, this person is totally, totally stuck on you. They would do anything, sacrifice anything, give up anything to uh, be with you. Okay. They see you, you've changed their perspective, Pisces energy, I think on what happiness really means for them. Okay, but there could be some sort of pause or delay here in like this um, moving forward for some reason. Okay, there's something here in the past that they walked away from or they need to let go of. Why is the King of Cups, the energy surrounding the connection or in the connection? Why is the King of Cups here? Yep, Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. This person might feel like, somebody here might feel like there's a lot of uh, overthinking happening here. Um, or they're isolating themselves. This person is very in love with you. They see long term and they're planning for that when it comes to you. Okay, uh, but it's taking a long time because this person I feel like is stuck in their head. And I want to say, guys, that they might have done something without like really knowing it to sort of sabotage the connection and there I feel like somebody's trying not to let you find out something and I don't know that it has to do with cheating or anything we'll see if we can get to the bottom of it all right this person feels the lovers this is powerful twin flame connection why queen of pentacles they want to make you their main squeeze their wife their husband okay justice in reverse but there's something okay this person could have a legal issue that they might need resolved um that's what i'm feeling they're being dishonest about something here okay this person is hiding something that could maybe they have a marriage that isn't quite ended um, or they have a legal issue. There's something that they're hiding from you. Okay, guys. And they know that if you find out potentially this could ruin the connection between the two of you. All right, Gemini, why do we have the seven of wands? Why does this person have the seven of wands as their hidden energy? Please give me clear messages here. Seven of wands. Death. Yeah, something's going on here. Um, they're trying to end something okay they're trying to change something this person there might be something i feel like with the king of wands and the death this person is motivated to end whatever this sort of struggle is that they're having um scorpionic energy too you could be dealing with a scorpio a libra uh pisces I think this person wants to tell you what they're going through here with the seven of wands, the king of wands. They're, they want uh, they want things to go in the right direction. 
um, but they need to fix something or change something. Something needs to change and I feel like they're working on it. They're trying not to let you know about whatever this is though. What I really want to know is what is it? <laughs> okay. There's something they're, they're not telling you. This could be a financial of, uh, a legal situation is what I'm feeling with justice in reverse. What is this thing? What is this thing they're trying to fix? Okay, it could be some sort of, uh, we have the King of Cups. So this could be some sort of job situation with the King of Wands and the King of Cups. It could be an emotional connection that they have someplace else from their past, okay? And this person is not trying to let you know. I feel like there may be something that they need to move on from. Um, three of Coins and then Nine of Swords. They're very stressed out about it because they feel deep down, Five of Swords, that there could be a lie. This person might have cheated. Three of Swords. There's the moon too. Holy shit. This person might have cheated on you maybe a long time ago in the connection and they're hiding it, okay? You don't know about this, okay? I'm getting for some of you, it could be a legal situation. They've basically been pretending here, manipulating this, right? Five of Swords, like they got away with something and they've been hiding this, okay? It could be that somebody is trying to hang on to them and they're trying to protect you with the Seven of Wands from finding this information out while they try to dead this relationship, this connection that they have. For some of you, this is legit a legal situation that this person does not want you to know about, okay? And they're trying to like figure this out and hiding it from you. For others of you, this is somebody who cheated on you and you have no idea that this person cheated on you. I'm gonna tell you straight up. They don't want you to walk away. This person literally, if you've seen them being restless, like distant, whatever, that's because they have this on their mind. And I think that they are dealing with somebody who is in love with them, King of Cups, King of Wands, and is pursuing them. They, It's like a one night stand. I feel like this person had a one night stand and now they're being pursued by somebody who won't fucking let them go. Okay, they won't. They're just like, look, it happened. I fucked up. And I feel like there could be threats, like this person's passing threats. I'm going to contact your person. I'm going to say some shit. And you're like, please don't, please don't. But you know, you're trying to, or not you, your person is trying to appease this other person. And hey, I just said you guys. So maybe it is you guys. Okay. Why is the challenge the five of cups? This makes sense. They don't want to lose you, right? The past is hanging on to them. Why is this a challenge? Yep, lovers in reverse. Oof, not res not accepting responsibility, making a poor fucking choice. Seven of swords. Are you kidding me today? I'm going to go live because this shit is on point today. Okay. This person is really fucking stressed because they know they did some shit behind your back, okay? And they really don't want you finding out. They don't even know how to handle this. They made a really poor choice and the past has just got them. <laughs> the past has this person right now. Whoever, somebody is just hanging on to this person. They know this was a bad idea and this is the challenge because some somebody is not letting them go, okay? Potential outcome, page of coins, the magician. I almost feel like, okay, hold and let me just hold my tongue. Why is this here? Why is this here? Page of coins and the magician, potential outcome. Yeah, queen of swords in reverse, okay? This is a, a falling out, an argument. This is a, it's potentially someone I feel like, you know, this is not good. Okay, this is somebody being sloppy and I feel like you finding out, okay, with the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Um, with the Magician, I feel like somehow what the potential is, is like you guys finding out because you manifested the truth somehow, okay, with the Page of Coins, the Magician, and these two cards in reverse, all right? Your advice, Ten of Wands, Nine of Cups, go do you. Okay, chase your happiness because if this person can hold out this long on this, and I'm telling you, for some of you, this is like the first few months that you were together or something. This person was probably like, oh my God, you know, I'm so about Gemini, but they fucked up one night here and now they can't get rid of it. This is like, 
you know, the mis the mistake they can't get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad, you know, but you have the 10 of wands as part of your uh, advice. Why do we have the nine of cups and the 10 of wands as advice, please? Why do we have this as advice? Yep, 10 of swords in reverse, five of pentacles in reverse. This is, you know, getting rid of this difficult situation. Honestly, it's putting it to bed. It's doing something new when it's Ten of Swords in reverse. It's letting go of this heaviness, this heavy situation, getting help, like, you know, conversing with your friends, that type of stuff. Okay. Um, you know, using what you got to cope with the hurt of this, right. And trying to, you know, Nine of Cups really fulfill yourself and nurture yourself out of this. So you're, your energy is letting go of this, right? It's letting go of the pain, the hurt, whatever you're going to potentially find out here. Because that's what I feel like. The the um, potential outcome is you finding out and putting no more into this, okay? You manifesting some sort of way of finding this out. And I feel like with the page of coins, it might be somebody just accidentally saying something to you or accident, like you find something like a gift that this person gave to your person. And you're like, hmm, this gets you thinking. And then this erupts into a full blown argument where maybe the truth is coming out. Okay. Because queen of swords in reverse is a pissed off person demanding the fucking truth. This is no play play. Okay. And once you get it, you're like, all right, I'm good. All right. So that's what I'm seeing. This is very, it's sad because I feel like this is a really great relationship. And that's why this person doesn't want you to find this information out. You know what I'm saying? And they don't know how to stop it either. They don't know what to do because I feel like they're dealing with somebody who's a fucking nut. They're in love with them and over like, you know, one night of sex. Okay. We have the Phoenix new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. So yeah, for some of you, your mind's going to change. You're going to be like, what the fuck? I thought you were Prince Charming. You're actually not right. You're going to be that Phoenix rising from the ashes. Regardless, I see that here. This is you taking the lemons and making lemonade out of the situation. We have talking, interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, a way to message arrives, text, call, email, hoovering. I feel like this person might try to, you know, bring you in, bring you out, suck you in, push you out. Okay. But I feel like there's, you might talk about it and go over it coffee cup, but this is you meeting with your friends. This is you. I feel like getting it out with the coffee cup and the talking. Okay. Leaning on your friends, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship. Okay. Now, tell me what we have with the romance angels, please. What do we have with the romance angels? What do we have with the romance angels? What other messages are here for Gemini? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. For some of you, you might do that. You might give this person a chance, you know, because they did it in the past, right? It's something that happened. You might forgive them and you might move on. Maybe that's why we have the potential of the page of coins and the magician, you know, making this work somehow, okay? Making it work, even though it's going to be very complicated for a long period of time. Okay. And we have, you deserve love. You are lovable. And I feel like that's literally just a message saying, Hey, this isn't about you. It's not about what you didn't have or what you didn't lack for others of you. You're going to be moving on from this connection and <coughs> remember that you deserve love. You're worthy of love. This has no say no bearing on who you are as a person and what you're capable of giving and receiving in another connection. Okay. So for some of you, I do feel maybe you will work it out with all the talking, conversing, that stuff. You might um, be able to, you know, do the Phoenix, like transform this relationship into something where, because it happens, people, there are things that happen. Sometimes people cheat and sometimes people are able to take those relationships through like, you know, therapy and whatever else and rebuild, rekindle the connection. 
and work through that stuff and make things happen and, and have healthy relationships moving forward where it doesn't happen again. And other times you just feel like, yo, it's not worth it. You know, if you did it once, you're probably going to do it again. Take whichever scenario is yours because I feel like the two are here, okay? That's what I got for you, Gemini. If any of this did resonate for you, please make sure you smash the love button for your girl. Definitely comment down below. Like I said, I love talking to you guys. And don't forget to subscribe. I will see you soon. Bye.